And here we go, turning it on low. Hey Best Pally, I'm out of toilet paper. But wait, aren't we all? Because panic buying has all of the paper aisle just empty. And so, I have ordered a bidet. I've actually wanted to get one of these for a while, and this is the perfect reason to pull the trigger. So many people that I respect are all about bidets. It's crazy. I mean, Oprah, so there you go, that's all I need to say. And the most convincing argument was that she said, and I may be paraphrasing here, if you got on your hand, would you just wipe it off with paper? No. So why are you doing that with any other part of you? But there are other arguments besides the fact that I will use less toilet paper, because all you have to do is just dry yourself off instead of remove the stuff. Because you're using less toilet paper, you will save money. And because you're using less toilet paper, you will save your toilet. You know, in case you clog it sometimes. And you're saving the environment. Less paper, that's great. Trees are happy. Trees love bidets. I am talking this up before even trying it. But also, I've heard even better things about it. It's actually better for your butt, too. Your skin will be nicer. <laughs> Anybody that has hemorrhoids, it's good for them. Your hands will be cleaner. You don't have to take it down. You know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. You should still wash your hands, though. Heavily, especially, you know, what's going on in the world today. And they're great for people with limited mobility. Which obviously will be me as soon as I do enough pull-ups that I'm so wide I can't reach my own buttocks. So I guess it's time to get this installed and show you me using it for the first time. Obviously just my facial reaction. Uh, easy and quick self-installation. Great, this bidet is already making me look bad because if I do this well, so it was easy. And if I don't, what the heck is wrong with you? It was supposed to be easy. There's a sticker on here. I'm trying to see what the company is. No. Come on. Uh, <laughs> this is a bidet made by Astor. Anyway, let's get to putting this on the toilet. Yep, this is gonna be a video from the bathroom. I got a very affordable one. They uh, have a lot of elaborate features on others that can get pretty expensive and then they like light up and talk to you. This one doesn't even use electricity, so I'm hoping it will be easier. First thing I gotta do is take the seat off. Actually, the first thing I gotta do is clean the toilet, which I did before you got here, so you don't think that I'm a garbage human. Yeah, to flip up these things and then unscrew it. And underneath is a piece you can grab onto. There we go. Set that aside. Hey! Seatless toilet. A little extra disinfecty. Now I gotta get this guy on here and this shift so it will line up with wherever your screws are. Let me unlid in you again. There we go. Yay! And we're basically done! And nope, now comes the plumbing part, which is terrifying. And it says tools needed include Teflon tape, which I don't own, and I'm hoping I don't actually need, because that means that the threads are lining up and then it starts leaking, but maybe I'll get lucky and not have to figure that out. Next step is to shut off the water supply. Glad I didn't miss this, because that would be messy. I think that's off? I don't know. Now it doesn't say flush the toilet, but I watched a tutorial on YouTube that said to, so I'm gonna flush the toilet. Is that okay? Is it not refilling? I think we're good here. Okay, yeah, water was off because the tank is empty. Now I gotta disconnect this hose from the toilet and hope that water doesn't go everywhere, oh dear. And it's dripping. Okay, but I expected that as long as it's not an entire tank of water, then I did this correctly. Yes! Okay, we're good. I had nightmares of it just gushing from there. Now that's disconnected. I'm screwing in this extra piece up here. And this is the part that might not be flush, and I'm hoping I don't need tape. Get nice and tight, sir. Now that that valve is on there, then this goes onto the bottom of that. Also another spot I just realized that could leak. Okay, so basically we just made this extra spout on here so I can connect the water supply to the bidet. There we go. And you're welcome for the sick shot. I think that's it. I just gotta test it out, except that I have an extra hose for some reason I don't understand. I think this is just a bonus and I didn't do anything wrong, I hope. Let's turn the water supply back on and... Okay, no leaking, no leaking. So far, so good. Looking great, toilet sir. Huh? I think I did it. That may or may not have been quick and easy. If I hadn't seen the other thing about flushing the toilet, I would not have, and this would have been a way funnier blooper reel. I guess that's for expensive bidets, and I couldn't afford that extra instruction. I guess all that's left is taking my ass for a test drive. We got several settings here, 
and it looks like this thing pops down to, yep, you're right where the butt usually is. So I would show you the device working, except that water would get all over my place, so instead you're gonna get my reaction using a bidet for the first time. And here we go, turning it on low. I'm hearing something, but I'm not feeling anything. Oh no, is it leaking? Nope, zero leaks. I don't think we need Teflon tape, this is great. It's just not making it to my cheeks yet, so I gotta go a little higher and a little higher. Where is it from? Oh my God. It reached me. Okay. What? Oprah, what are you? What are you doing to me? This is good. Uh, I'm still thinking about. It. Yes, I'm in. I'm sold. I'm like the kombucha girl of the days. <laughs> no. Well, hmm? This is actually pretty sweet. It's not even close to high, and it has got some pressure. I did. What? Okay. I don't know if I can go all the way up. Oh, whoa, whoa. Speaking of hemorrhoids, that might cause them. This thing is powerful. Oh, I feel so cleansed. Mmm. <clears throat> Had to return my pants to their proper position, and I just noticed that it says the product shoots up to 30 PSI. So that is a lot of pressure. And I also want to mention, because I got a non-electric one, it is cold water, a part of the shock that you smell on my face, which I love. I take cold showers because they feel awesome and there are so many benefits, which I've talked about in a past video if you want to go watch that and see why you should too. But also, I feel like cold showers translate to the tush area as well. It just seems like a little bum shock might be good for me daily. And now I do think I can show you how it works with a low setting without getting my lens wet here. Let me see. So, there we go, it starts moving. You can crank it up. And then when you turn it off, it retracts back in. Ah, oh, that's so cool and it stays clean. Now I know I told you the benefits in the beginning, but now I'm completely sold. It feels great and I cannot wait for my next crap. My hiney is happy. My tuchus is top notch. My posterior is pleased. So wait, was this a guinea pig video or a product test video? I'm gonna call it product test because this never happens. I actually like the product and I now endorse bidets in general, not specifically the ass store, even though that's hilarious. So if you are considering trying one out, I think you should. Your fanny will be a fan.